Okay, do you remember how to do systems of equations, my peeps? So, uh, why don't you try to see if you remember, do this one by substitution and this one by elimination. Now, in the final, you get to choose which method you want. But go ahead and see if you remember how to do substitution, how do you do elimination, and when you're done, unfreeze the video. Okay, so I'm going to solve one variable for one equation. So I'm going to solve this equation for y. So y equals 8 minus 3x. Then I'm going to take this and put it into the other equation for y. So it would be 5x minus 8 minus 3x equals 8. So 5x minus 8 plus 3x equals 8. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides and combine the x's. It'd be 8x equals 16. So x equals 2. Now on the final, here's the major mistake people make. There's two unknowns. There's an x and there's a y that's missing. So... You gotta solve for y. So, I'm gonna put the two back in for x. So it'd be y equals eight minus three times two. So eight minus six is two. So the answer is two, two. How do we check our answer? Put it back in, six plus two is eight. 10 minus two is eight. This one, elimination. I'm going to set up opposite coefficients for one set of variables. Doesn't matter if it's the x or if it's the y. I'm going to do y because it's already positive and negative. So I'm going to multiply this one by 3 and this one by 4. So it's 9x minus 12y equals 21. So this would be 8x plus 12y equals negative 4. So 17x equals 17. Now, notice the key is this has to be opposite. Minus 12 plus 12, so when you add, it's 0. So divide by 17x is 1. Put it back into either here, here, or here. Doesn't matter which one if you did it correctly. So I'm going to do it here just because it's smaller. 2 plus 3y equals negative 1. Subtract 2, 3y equals negative 3. So y equals negative 1. Now the last one, do you remember Kramer? So go ahead and freeze the video, do Kramer, and then turn me back on. Okay. So first we find the big D. That's the determinant of these coefficients. So it'd be 3, 2, 2, 1. So it'd be 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. Then we find dx. That's a horrible x, isn't it? dx. You switch the coefficients of x with the constants. So it'd be 11, 7. Then you put in the coefficients of y. So it'd be 11 minus 14, which is negative 3. Then x is dx divided by d which in this case would be negative 3 divided by negative 1, which is 3. Then we find dy. So we bring the x coefficients back in, 3, 2, and put the constants in for the y. So it would be 21 minus 22 which is negative 1, 
And I'll bring it up over here. Y is dy over d. <laughs> Excuse me. Which is uh, negative 1 divided by negative 1, which is 1. So the answer would be 3, 1. I actually like Kramer. Some people think it's uh, much more challenging than the other ones. I don't think it is, but there you go. Systems. There are two on the final. And again, you, use, you get to use the method you want. And remember, there's also two determinants. There's a 2x2 two two and a 3x3, three three, which I already made a video on that. So, hey, have a good day.